I want you to imagine a single cell bobbing in an ancient sea. It splits in two, and the story of life is underway. A story whose beats are the constant and perpetual splitting of cells. One into two, two into four, child into woman. To introduce a scientist who has spent years untangling the threads of cell division, we have two film and television stars who clearly love technology and each other. She's a Golden Globe nominated actress. He's an actor and tech entrepreneur who has invested in companies such as Airbnb, Spotify, Uber, and House. Please welcome Mila Kunis and Ashton Kucha. Ashton and I are thrilled to be a part of the show. But the greatest show on earth is what happens within us. And by us, I mean women. When I was pregnant, I had this app that told me every day how big my daughter was. The size of a guava, size of an avocado, and eventually she got too enormous to be compared to a fruit. But, thanks guys. Um, but the app also told me what was growing and when the hands, the eyes, the brain. Then you realize every moment along the way requires the perfect splitting of DNA and cells. I can confirm that Mila was totally obsessed with the fruit app. <laughs> and actually someone here tonight probably invented the UI for that, so thank you. It, those were fun nights. As our children grow up, it is truly amazing to see what can be shaped by the microscopic process of cell division. What we can see is how delicate and how difficult that process is. We all grow up, you know, and we listen to the teacher. You either hear something or you read something and you don't understand it. Your first reaction from school is, oh, well, I'm stupid. After many decades of feeling that, I realized that most of the time they don't understand it themselves, realizing that something doesn't make sense. That is the key thing. And that something that's out there for everybody to see, but you're the first person who doesn't accept that the conventional explanations don't work. The way you pass things on from generation to generation, whether a yeast cell, an oak tree or a human cell is continuity of cells dividing and producing two new cells. It was a complete mystery, though it had been described for a hundred years, how the DNAs, the sister DNAs, are disjoined from each other. How do you ensure that one goes to the left, one goes to the right, and the cell divides down the middle? There is two meters of DNA in every one of our cells. How on earth does the cell know which of that tangled mass of DNA needs to be held together. It requires that creative step to imagine something that if it did exist, you could now explain things that can't otherwise be explained. I got back from a very long climbing trip, having spent days dealing with ropes and carabiners and clips. And uh, I had uh, probably the most important idea in my entire scientific career. You want to assemble this DNA into one structure and this one into a separate one. Even though you're going to separate them apart, you must still hold on to them in certain places. And what we realized is that they're all held together by the cohesin rings. And then it's broken open, and this goes one way, this goes the other way, and the two DNAs go to the opposite side of the cell. You think, gosh, so that's how it works. It is incredibly difficult to get at the truth. You can't explain the world in terms of what we already know. You're gonna to have to imagine something new.
for revealing the mechanism that controls the separation of chromosomes in cell division and prevents genetic diseases such as cancer. No big deal, guys. Our next Breakthrough Prize award goes to Kim Naismith. When he's not exploring chromosomes or climbing mountains, Kim Naismith enjoys pursuing his passion for winemaking. The world we live in was forged by the Enlightenment, which stressed reason over tradition. Now, the medium by which ideas are now evaluated has just undergone a profound change. And this has been accompanied by a tendency to think that what you say matters more than what can be demonstrated. My experience is that discovering the truth is not easy, but immensely rewarding. Getting back to the facts is crucial if we are to survive long enough to find out that we are not alone in this universe. We will then discover if the laws of biology are as universal as those of physics 